Hi everyone, my name's Kevin. You probably know me better as Anya T. Coley. That's because Anya the Coley is my little dog, and Sharon's little dog. The reason for me intruding onto your PC today is to give you a little bit of a heads up on how your USB will perform on your PC. Most, for security reasons, of Windows 10 devices now no longer auto run any sort of software. So what you need to do is find the software you're looking for to auto run it. So you'll see at the bottom of the taskbar here there's a folder sign. That folder sign is what they call File Explorer and that's what you need to do to find your USB. So if I open that folder and give the computer a little bit of time to find the files and then open it up in our window you will see that's what you've got so if you click on this pc and let it do its thing you will see it gives you this probably this top folder will be open i've closed it so that we can see this here so what it's telling me is currently i have got access to c drive which is what's on the computer, and F drive, which is the CD-ROM. Now clearly it's a USB we're looking for, so we need to put the USB into our USB slot. So I'll just do that. That's it popped in. Let me play a little tune. This might come up, depending on the software that's on your computer. This is because I've got Dropbox on a computer. It wants me to upload it directly. I don't want to do that, so I'll click Cancel. But as you can see, it's not automatically started. And the reason it hasn't is for security reasons. But you can see it's got here Pantry Volume 2 D Drive or whatever it is that you've just put into your PC. If you double click on that, it will then open what's on system. Now, as you can see, you've just got big large icons on here. And if you look at this top bar here, see where I've highlighted the word View. You click on view, then ask it to go to list or details or whatever it is that you're comfortable with. I'm going to click list and wait for it to catch up. And there we have it. Let it load. Yours should be faster than this. I'm currently doing something in the background, so it's taking it a little bit longer to catch back up. But you will have noticed that on the previous page, there we are. The auto run, auto play, auto run. That's been causing a bit of confusion. What you need to look at is auto run with a disc on it. The disc basically says run me. So give that a little double click and that should open again. I apologise for the speed of this machine. It's normally a lot faster but it's working away in the background doing something else. This is a lovely interface that the uh, guys at CCW have made for us to make it much easier to get into our documents. So we'll choose whatever it is we go to, and that will open up. Now, another point that you possibly will have seen, um, my screen resolution is higher than the recommended, um, and that's why these bottom uh, pieces are not showing. You can almost see like half moons at the bottom there. That's the navigation to go left and right and wherever it is. Now, to let's just say we'll open this. We'll click on that. That should open up the seahorse. As you see, the little circle starts running. And that's looking for the PDF program to open at the Adobe Reader. That similarly has been a problem for all users recently and um, there's a tutorial under announcements in the group that will show you how to fix that if it doesn't open as you can see on this machine it's not a problem and I haven't been able to replicate it so I could show you on here to print from there clearly you just go straight up to the print icon and then that obviously will then bring it on here printer display and let you run as you normally would. And again, I apologise for the slowness of the machine. It's doing quite a lot in the background. Um, it's barking up some files from me. Anyway, that being said, 
if you cannot get your machine to do what you want it to do, and that being the auto run won't come up or you can't get the the thing to show, if you get back onto this screen again, which has the auto run disc on it, if you click on the auto play icon, that will bring you into the background files. Oh, there you go. You see, there is a problem with Adobe at the moment. It is freaking out a little bit. Um, we just have to be patient until Adobe and Microsoft um, fixes the problem. As you can see, it's got, look, hang on, well, Windows reports a problem with Microsoft. So this will end up getting fixed. Um, unfortunately, big conglomerates like Adobe and Microsoft don't listen to individuals. They only listen to the feedback they get electronically. Okay, so back on Word disk here, uh, sorry, with USB here, we've got audio, docs, and images. The images generally, and I'll just click on that and ignore that if you don't mind. That is what we we'll call the thumbnails. Um, the thumbnails are the bits that you see on the screen before you click on them. Um, I have clicked on that. I don't know if whether it'll open because, as you can see, with the windows popping up everywhere, there's quite a lot going on in this just now. That will open a small thumbnail. Now, the problem with thumbnails is they're tiny, and they're only really meant as a uh, show me. Um, what you need to do is ignore the images and go to docs. The docs, as you can see, should have the Adobe sign on it. If it doesn't have the Adobe sign, it's either because you're using a different format to open your Adobe files, like, for instance, um, Microsoft Edge or Foxit or PDFX or something like that. If it doesn't have that and it's got something random like Microsoft Word, what you can do is you can right click on the file and again, excuse the machine while it catches up. Go down to properties and then give that a second till that then goes into the properties of the file. And at this point you can change as you can see, from Microsoft Edge, Firefox, Google Chrome, Torch Browser, or look for another app on the store. Um, because I know that my Adobe version of DC is working and it is actually working correctly, I'll leave it at that. So what that basically means is that Adobe Acrobat Document PDF is the premier program for opening PDF programs. And that is part of the reason why we have an issue with the uh, Adobe problem elsewhere. It will be fixed. It's not an issue for CCW. It's not an issue for yourself. It's an issue between Adobe and Microsoft to fix in the long term. Okay, so we're now in this folder and it's got all these PDF files. Now, again, if you go back to view and go back to, for instance, large icons, what it will do is it will give you a small image. If you go to extra large icons, and again, we'll need to wait because it needs to read from the USB. That will then give you a preview of what you can print. And then from that point, it's quite easy to go in, double click the image, and that should open in your primary program for opening Adobe because, uh, or, sorry, Acrobat files because I've got that set to Adobe PDF it will automatically open in that file that is the same for CD-ROMs, if you're having a problem with CD-ROMs on your computer the same effect is best to open so we'll try and close these down and I'll try and show you what I mean Let's say, for instance, I just put a, a CD-ROM into my computer and nothing's happened. Still on my desktop, there's no sign of anything. I click on Folder. I let it open the, a window, which is just done. I click back on uh, my PC. Now, because there is so much going on in my computer, as you can see, it makes it difficult for me to pick it up. We'll just minus that down, I beg your pardon, and go to there, my, this PC. And again, it brings up the shutter menu with folders, devices and drives, and network locations. 
Had I had a CD or DVD in, it would show up here. And it would have the blue white bar or whatever colour it is that you've got on your scheme. And it will show you on there how to do it. All you need to do, as we did with the paper pantry uh, USB, is go into that. Again, click on the auto run. If that doesn't work, or like Mac users have to do, they have to then go in and find that autoplay folder, look for documents, and then the, the pretty papers and such like are all in there. I hope that's been a bit of a help, and I hope that's cleared up some of the information. Um, if there's anything that you need further, please do either drop a message to Anya T. Colley or reply to this video when I get it posted up. And I'll be happy to answer as much as I can. Remember, we're all in this together. And unfortunately, IT is one of the things that you can't be taught because there's just so much things that's in there and so much things that uh, can affect. Um, the only reason I've picked up as much as I have is because I've worked with computers and Windows most of my working life. So if I can pass any information on, I'd be more than happy to do so. Happy crafting, people.